Okay, listen, I just got back from uh, the first Purge, and my roommate's watching Deadpool right now. He's like, dude, let's watch Deadpool. And like, I gotta review a movie. He's like, dude, let's watch Deadpool. Okay, so I gotta keep this review straight to the point. And Chimichungas are waiting, viewers. Cue the music! <laughs> This is the commencement of the annual TVB out, okay, I'll stop. I'm here to review The First Purge, the prequel to the Purge movies, as it centers around, well, the very first Purge, the very first experiment where, for one night, all crime is legal. And it's not centered, it, it's not the entire country that's getting this Purge, it's only Staten Island. Because I just want to say, like, hey, let's not go too big just yet, let's, like, try doing it smaller, I guess. So we're just focusing on Staten Island, and it mostly focuses on this, like, low-income area full of a lot of African-Americans, and this guy named Dimitri has, like, protect his friends and, you know, fight for what's right for his gang for everything that's based on the movie. So the Purge movies have been, they've had really cool premises and really cool concepts, but, like, I think the main thing is just a poor execution. That's their biggest problem. Like, the first Purge was okay, like, I mean, they should not have made it a home thriller. That was a terrible line. That was a terrible decision. But it's still, like, it was enjoyable. Like, you know, again, it was just okay. The Purge of Anarchy still had some problems, but I enjoyed it. And The Purge Election Year, which came out two summers ago, which is, in my opinion, the best Purge movie. I actually liked it. I can say, like, it was a solid film. And I want, like, you know, it finally realized what they need to be. is like, simple-minded action flicks. Yeah, the political message is there, but, like, they gotta keep in mind, like, these should be, like, in... In their core, like, um, just mindless thrillers. And the, the first Purge, I feel like it, this movie, I had very, um, in, like, I, I just had very mixed anticipations for it. Because I saw it, I was just like, eh, is another Purge movie really, really necessary? Like, if they just ended it after election year, I would have been happy. But, alas, they make money off these damn Purge movies, so they decide to make another one. So, the prequel here, I was just like, okay, since the Purge movies have been getting better with each sequel... I was hopeful that this would be the best Purge movie. Like, maybe uh, maybe I could give it still, like, a solid rating. Like, a, actually a really good rating. But, like, after seeing it, guys, like, the first Purge, I'm not too sure what it wants to be. I think that's a problem that a lot of people have with the Purge movies. But, like, this film was especially, like, you can't really tell what the main focus is. Like, the political, all the main political commentary is, like, right in the first 30 minutes. Then the next, like, hour or so is, like, you know, the purge. And it's people are just going crazy and killing each other in these low-income areas. It sort of, like, forgets itself. It's like, yeah, they're still hiring, like, mercenaries and, you know, the upper class to kill the lower class. Like, I guess the purge, like, in itself is just so people have a release for one night. It's also so the government can make more money by lowering the population or stuff like that. Again, it gets kind of cluttered and, like... The action scenes, when, like, stuff is going down, like, stuff is going down. It's thrilling. And honestly, I can't really say much else about it. So, like, yeah, I liked it. I, I like the action scenes. And they're not few and far between by means. It kept me engaged. It kept me interested in what was going to happen next. And the characters were not as fleshed out as the election year. Like, I think that's a main fault this film has. Like, you know, it doesn't, like, yeah, it didn't, like, it wasn't overbearing with political message like the last few Purge movies. And it's, like... Not, and the characters aren't complete morons, like, in the first movie. But, yeah, at the same time, like, the characters just weren't as, like, intriguing as the last film was. I didn't, like, yeah, Dimitri, he's cool, like, he kills a lot of dudes, and, yeah, saves, and saves a lot of people. Like, yeah, he's fine, but aside from that, the other characters don't really get the focus they deserve. And I think that's the main film this problem has, like, this film lacks in character film, like, election year did. And that's, well, like, yeah, but... Again, but fortunately, there's enough action and, you know, interesting, you know, moments to keep me intrigued otherwise. So, yeah, the Purge, the first Purge is definitely better than the first two Purge movies. I'm not going to say it's as good as Election Year because, again, the characters just weren't as interesting in this film as the last, as the last one. So, all in all, I'm going to give the first Purge a 6 out of 10 stars. It is an enjoyable film. Okay, I know I asked this in my review for the Purge election year, but seriously, guys, like, if you did have that one night to do whatever the heck you want, like, please let me know in the comments down below. And subscribe to this channel, please. My name is TVB9. I hope you guys have a happy 4th of July. That's right. That's tomorrow. Oh, boy. Your time flies so fast. All right. Peace, y'all.